All right, what you're looking at here is a picture of our grass, and you may notice there's something not quite right going on here. With all these long stalks. You might guess that we're having lawnmower problems. Well, today, hopefully, we're going to do something about those lawnmower problems. Continue to watch. We're gonna show you today how to change the starter on a riding lawnmower. This happens to be a zero turn riding lawnmower, but uh, the engines are kind of the same among different lawnmowers. So if you need to change the starter on your lawnmower, this should be a good guide to show you how to get that done. This is the engine we're gonna be working on today. <laughs> The way this problem has presented itself, the lawnmower was a little bit difficult to start. Uh, I originally thought that it might be a battery problem. And actually, a couple of times when it wouldn't start, and I actually jumped, started it from another lawnmower, another battery, it did start. But in the meantime, now it's gone out, and I did some troubleshooting and figured out that uh, it actually is a starter problem, so we're going to go ahead and change that today. Here's the replacement starter. Actually ordered this off of eBay. It's only about $48, $50 for free shipping. Pretty good deal for a starter. Uh, there's two connecting bolts and one electrical connection that we're gonna have to make. And one of the biggest problems with dealing with a, a vehicle uh, repair <laughs> is if it breaks when it's not in a place that makes it easy to fix. This happens to broken where uh, I store it in, I guess you call it a workshop. It's away from my main source of tools and I don't really have good lighting here. But the starter, you can see it, is located here. So I am going to have to remove this shroud that's covering the top bolts, disconnect some of the electricals. But first we are going to start by actually disconnecting the positive uh, cable to the battery. And that's gonna help us uh, prevent any kind of shorts that might happen. Uh, once the positive cable has been removed from the battery, uh, we can pretty much touch anything we want or accidentally hit something with a wrench and not have to worry about causing any sparks, any uh, shocks or a short that might damage some of the components. Okay, so while being careful not to touch any of the metal on the lawnmower, I'm loosening the bolt that's holding on the positive cable. All right, so now I'm disconnecting the positive. I'm gonna move it out of the way so it doesn't swing back over there and touch the battery. So, there it's safely out of the way. Now nothing is energized, so I don't have to worry about any kind of short. And we can proceed to trying to move the housing on the lawnmower. All right, so we've located a couple of bolts back here use Torx, uh, a special kind of, it's almost like an Allen wrench, but it's not it's Torx. It looks like a 10 millimeter in here. There's a fuel pump on this housing. Uh, so it's not gonna be quite as easy and quick as what I thought. Let's see if we can get the 10 millimeter off. Examples of why you should disconnect uh, drop wrenches have a way of hitting exactly where they're not supposed to.
thing now. Ratchet is doing so bad a job with this. Alright, so that's it. Apparently it lifts away. I need to loosen these two. I'm gonna have to go get a Torx bit for that. All right, this is what a Torx bit looks like. I don't know if you can see it, they're kind of starred. Hopefully we brought the right size. Looks like these just need to be loosened too. Start to see, check the camera, the starter a little bit better. Right there. That'll be the next step to remove that. Alright, the good news is I found a way to shed a little more light. Shed a little more light on the situation. Looks like I'm gonna be able to reach the retaining nuts. And the electrical connection right here, which I did not do, <laughs> it's pretty uh, cheesy. We're gonna fix that and do that a little bit better. There, that's all done already. So, next would be to one ground wire that was, I don't know if you can see that, ground wire was attached to that bolt. We need to make sure that that makes its way back on there. Thank you. 
Old starter removed. Second bolt. There we go. See, somebody has created their own little copper wire attachment. I think we're gonna try to see if we can't put a better connection on there this time. And if we match it up to make sure we have the right part, definitely looks like an exact fit. I do believe I'm going to get a little grease and grease this drive up just to make sure it turns freely. This is actually turning. All right, I'll return. I'm going to grease it and then we're going to do the exact opposite reinstall it and fire it up. All right, I think it's probably prudent to take care of this bad electrical connection. I have some of these little copper connection which will make a much better and safer connection to our star. So if you can imagine, this is gonna be attached here when we're done with the wire. That's all that's necessary now Leave this over. The wire, as you can see that, and then it's going to have to be crimped. And you can crimp fairly easily using a pair of line pliers. In here, this is the crimp. I don't know if it's going to fit around that one, but we're going to give it a shot. That's a solid connection now. I only wish we had a rubber uh, cover or something to cover it, but it's gonna be out of the way. I don't think too many hands are gonna fall or go in there uh, and have any kind of risk of shock. All right, cable's taken care of. Install the starter. I'm gonna pull this ground wire out. Difficult one. just makes it much easier for me to reach my fat fingers in there.
All right. Now what's left is to reattach the power down there. And we should be almost good to go. Should be good to go on that. All right, all that's left now. Star is attached. Power is attached. Our wires don't seem to be conflicting anywhere, so let's put our air shroud back on. And this tin out when I took it apart, so I'm just gonna go back where it was. Alright, we're lined up there, we are lined up here. I would hook the battery up and give it a shot and try it first before I close all this up. But the video effect, we're just going to assume that everything is going to work out like it's supposed to.
remember, be careful not to touch the metal at the end of the lawnmower. Alright, pretty tight. Move everything out of the way. Make sure the camera's still rolling. Cross our fingers. Make sure we're in neutral. Alright, if everything was right, this sucker should crank now and start up. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.